Greetings all! Today, we'll be examining the rare Bog Rock type Pokemon Shuckle, the Mold Pokemon. Though they might not look to have the greatest deal of bite to them, Shuckle are unique creatures that can prove to be the toughest nut of them all to crack. Shuckle have yellow soft bodies with four digitless limbs and a single head on their long tubular neck with simple black pinprick eyes and a thin mouth. Their bodies are contained within a large rock with a glazed red outer shell and white rimmed ports out of which their limbs extend and where berries can be inserted to make berry juice. Although Shuckle are generally classified as bug types, they are technically not insects at all, but in fact a highly advanced type of endolith and have more in common with mold and some gastropods than they have with any other type of organism. The only real reason they are not classified as grass types is because they have no natural plant-like abilities and are generally more faunal than they are floral. Because the soft bodies are extremely vulnerable to damage and unable to move very fast, take much in the way of damage, or even strike very hard, Shuckle hide themselves in round rocks that they create by secreting an acidic liquid from the tips of their limbs strong enough to easily melt even the sturdiest of rocks within a few minutes. Once inside the makeshift shell, Shuckle never leave their home under any circumstances and are thus practically never seen without one in the wild. Aside from providing them defense, this vase-like shell also proves to be the perfect breeding ground for these creatures' favorite food, fermented berry juice. Shuckle will regularly take fairly large quantities of berries and store them within their shell for long periods of time, mixing them with the same acidic liquid that they secrete from their feet until the berries dissolve into a thick, pulpy slurry. While Shuckle absolutely love this juice, it is also noted that the juice is equally popular among other lifeforms because of its sweet taste and is oftentimes used as a healing elixir in battle. While berry juice might only recover about 20 HP in practice, it's still enough of a boost to make younger Pokemon happy. When not finding berries to store in the shell, Shuckle will generally remain out of sight by hiding underneath logs and rocks, holding as still as possible in order to reduce the chances of them ever being attacked by predators. In terms of combat effectiveness, Shuckle are probably the epitome of unbalanced fighting in regards to favoring defense. As a result of effectively being little more than mobile mold, Shuckle have almost no muscular strength at all and are incapable of dealing anything in the way of severe damage to even the most defensively weak creatures. Instead, Shuckle focus completely on defense and rarely ever go on the offensive, a trait more than reflected by the relative lack of direct attacks. This works out well for the species, however, as the rocks that Shuckle live in are actually far more durable than anyone would normally imagine. While Shuckle normally eat the berry juice that they make inside of their shells, every once in a while they will actually sacrifice a batch and use it to coat the outside of their rocky homes. When this red juice then hardens, it forms an impressively strong bio-barrier that is both extremely difficult to break and capable of diffusing energy-based attacks better than any other type of armor seen in the Pokemon world. As such, Shuckle are recognized to possess the highest physical and special defenses out of any species of Pokemon and are practically impenetrable with conventional attacks. Combined with moves like Toxic, this can make these otherwise harmless beasts into literal nightmares that the opposition can have a difficult time overcoming. Interestingly enough, the fact that Shuckle can also learn the bizarre power trick technique means they can also potentially have the highest attack stat out of any species of Pokemon, but their slow movement speeds and the fact that the move will equally reduce their defense stat to almost nothing can make it a move only worth using in exceptional circumstances. As their forms might denote, this as a whole, along with their penchant for making berry juice, is also what allows these creatures to have sturdy and gluttony as base abilities while those that tend to develop abnormal brain forms from reproduction can have contrary as a hidden ability. And finally, in looking at their stats, as highlighted already, Shuckle are all defense and have little to offer elsewhere. So while most of their stats are extremely poor, their base defense and special defense stats are more than above average for a fully evolved bug and rock type Pokemon, again having the highest out of any species known, and overall making them quirky beasts that require careful strategy in order to make the most of in any battle. While they might not be ones that can really offer much in the way of direct offense, Shuckle are still fascinating creatures that can make life difficult for anyone that can't penetrate their sturdy defenses. You may laugh the moment they ascend into battle against you, but you won't be laughing long when they start to outlast your Pokemon through sheer determination and skill. Just do yourself a favor and make sure that you keep your rarest berries away from them at all times. They might not be a severe threat to others, but if they go and make some paltry juice out of your best stock, you might have only yourself to blame and won't be able to help much if you break your foot trying to kick their shell out of anger.
Thank you all for watching this video. It is always a pleasure to help teach others about the world of Pokemon and the many facets of it that exist in both the world we call home and the world they call home. If you'd like, please leave a comment and subscribe and ring the bell to this channel to get regular updates on content and anything else that might be going on. You can find me and my written work on DeviantArt under the name Utitis and be informed of information and content uploads on my Twitter page and my Patreon page. Donations are always welcome. Always remember, the world of Pokemon is a vast and varied place, and there's no telling what secrets might be hiding just around the corner. So keep watch, stay vigilant, and always prepare for the unexpected. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of the day.